there's a whole lot of ancient Greece to get to grips with in this year's Eagle Dive into the Animus. Here's seven things Assassin's Creed Odyssey never tells you about. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is huge. Ancient Greece is intimidatingly enormous and fun to explore, but thankfully explains most of its ancient Greek systems to let you make the most of that magical broken spear and Spartan kick. Although that doesn't mean there aren't some things that go under the radar. Whether you're playing as Cassandra or Alexios, there's always more to learn. From sneaky ways to take down sharks, to making sure you get the best crew for your ship. Here are seven things Assassin's Creed Odyssey never tells you about. I've never heard of it. Few have, thankfully. So, first off, here's how you can get the very best lieutenants for the Adrestia. Once you start upgrading your ship, you'll find there's no shortage of things that need a lot of soft leather, metal and wood to fill all those irresistible bars. If you're planning on doing a lot of boarding other ships though, or want to buy the skill where you can distract enemies with your own mercenaries, you're going to want to upgrade your hull. The more you upgrade it, you see, the more space you have for your own special crew. You'll start off with just one spot, but that can go up to four when your hull is at its max. So, how do you fill these in? Well, Odyssey is happy to tell you that you can hire enemies across the world. But what happens when you want one of those yellow shiny humans ensconced in forts and guarding treasure? Well, you can hire enemies of a higher level than you, even if your first non-lethal takedown only takes off a quarter of their health bar. Spot the character you want with Icarus, check their stats, and then it's important to remove any other characters from the equation. Get the pointless foes out of the way, making sure you don't kill your target, and then sneak up on your desired enemy. Quickly try and knock them out, and then, well, run. It's time to find a place to hide and wait for them to forget you exist. And then do the whole thing again and maybe again, if they're particularly hardy. Yes, they must be really forgetful. And you'll finally get them to a point where they're weak enough to knock out fully and hire for your crew. Voila, you're coming with me, pal. Go to port. Eh? A man named Varnavas is hiring sailors for my crew. I think I need a bigger boat. Cassandra might already know her Jaws references, but a boat isn't terribly helpful when you're diving down to wrecks for loot and there's a stack of circling great whites in the way. No one needs teeth in the way of their treasure, and while you can of course fight hand to hand underwater, if the sharks don't eat your hand of course, it's much easier to head back up to the surface. Once you've interacted with the sharks down below, they'll show up as shadows underwater with their level above their heads like all other enemies. Now helpfully, all you need to do is tread water and and send them off to meet their maker with the help of your trusty bow. Yep, this means you can even use your ability shots with your various types of arrows. Who cares about science and water physics when you've got the broken spear of Leonidas and 150% overpowered predator arrows? This leaves the necessary loot unguarded and you can head down without worrying about losing a limb. Or, you know, four. It's introduced at the start of the game, but the message board of quests that will definitely clog up your to-do screen isn't just for those who are somehow chugging through end-game content. Plenty of these additional quests, from both the Adrestia and its statues around the world, will gain you extra XP and rare gear and items, and you can pick them up and just forget about them. Lots will just say pick off five Spartan ships or take down Athenian archers, and these will happily tick off in the background while you make your way through the story pick them up, imagine them to be a bit like Destiny's bounties, and keep them in the back of your mind while you progress. Some of them are only available for 24 hours, so if you're doing a serious session, just pick them all up and see how you get on. Let's face it, you'll definitely need the XP. Okay, this is a little more dramatic sounding than it should be, but fire is your friend in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And you don't need your special flaming weapon ability to be a complete pyromaniac. Where there's an open flame in Odyssey, you can have flaming arrows. And given the fact that you've always got a torch in hand for heading into tombs, you can always set fire to your arrows. It's worth keeping this in mind in combat too, as you can send your normal arrows through a fire and they'll light on the way to your foe. This is especially useful if you find yourself in a tower to make the most of, or even if you just set yourself on fire and thus produce flaming arrows. Just try not to think about the pain. 
As you've probably seen, fire can get somewhat overwhelming, even as you're burning nation chests, so there's plenty of reasons to flick a match and make things significantly more dangerous. If you do find yourself on fire for any reason, hammer the dodge button to put it out or get yourself into some water to stop Cassandra or Alexios repeatedly swearing. So, it made sense to have tombs in Assassin's Creed Origins, given all those delightful pyramids full of traps, but Odyssey doesn't want you to miss out on the puzzles or even the snakes. How considerate. If you do stumble across a tomb on your travels, it's definitely worth your while to head inside. Keep an eye out for spiked floors and those aforementioned snakes. Believe me, they're everywhere and love a good jump scare. My top tip for snake annihilation is to throw the torch you're carrying and then hit them with an arrow when your reticule goes red. Once everything is dead and you haven't been skewered by a spiked floor, make your way to the steel, presumably left there by those who came before, and you'll earn yourself an automatic ability point to spend on a skill of your choice. None of the puzzles are too taxing, but keep in mind that you can light the torches as you go so you know where you've been, and you have the ability to smash pots and walls that look a bit weak. Origins had the very obvious scarab beetles crawling where walls had secret entrances. This isn't the case here, so just start smashing where you think the wall looks like it might break, and you'll probably find your way through. It's also worth noting that there's always a shorter way out, so if you see a box that looks like it can move and it looks a bit out of place, chances are that you can give it a shove and and get out fast. There's no shortage of ways to murder your foes in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but an especially fun addition to the many forts across ancient Greece are the braziers full of wood. These braziers are handy for NPCs to get reinforcements in for the one person invading their personal space, but even more useful for booby trapping for your own satisfaction and enjoyment. Yep, get to the big pile of wood first without anyone noticing you, and you can set a trap for the first person that comes along to light an ancient Greek match. It's always fun to make sure that you're in prime watching distance for when the inevitable happens, even if sometimes you're in complete chaos and on fire at the same time. Aren't you glad you planned for getting caught? And finally, sure, your feathery friend Icarus can help you out with killing animals and scoping out enemy forts and encampments, but it's important to give back. Both Cassandra and Alexios will talk to Icarus when he lands, which is nice, but hit the interact key while his talons are wrapped around your arm and you can give him a good scritch to say thank you. Yes, I have dedicated a whole section to the fact that you can pat your eagle and even give him treats. Just waiting for a chance to perch, were you? It's totally randomised what Cassandra or Alexios will do when you hit interact, but the important thing is that Icarus is finally being rewarded for all of his hard work. Oh, and one more sneaky bird fact. While scoping out the world as Icarus, you can in fact do a barrel roll. There you are, taking in the sights of ancient Greece, and when it all gets a bit too exciting to be a bird of prey, you can barrel roll mid-air. Just hammer left and right in quick succession. Yep, you're welcome. So that's it, seven hidden things that Assassin's Creed Odyssey doesn't tell you. Let me know what you've found in the comments below and drop us a like if you enjoyed witnessing Icarus's aerial acrobatics. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you already have, remember to hit that bell to make sure you know when a video drops like an eagle out of the sky onto an unsuspecting boat.